In this next step-by-step -step tutorial, I will be exploring the question, can I start digital marketing with no experience? Stay tuned until the end because I will give you a clear, actionable blueprint that contains the tactics and the strategies which will help you start a digital marketing job or career, even if you have no previous experience. And just very quickly, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I can only help you if you are subscribed. And give the video a like. Hit that thumbs up button now because that really does motivate me to make more content for you. Thank you very much, let's get started. Let's start with strategy number one, build a digital marketing portfolio. If you're looking to break into the digital marketing field but you don't have any previous experience, one of the best things that I recommend you do is build a strong portfolio. You can start by creating a professional online presence through social media, with sites such as LinkedIn or Twitter, or you can create your own website with engaging content. Then you can begin populating it with value, adding blog posts, digital marketing case studies and other content such as videos that will showcase your skills and highlight your industry knowledge. I suggest you consider posting and sharing relevant quality content to build a network and demonstrate your interest in digital marketing. You can also contribute to reputable websites and blogs to build your reputation as a credible digital marketer. Many digital marketing positions require strong writing skills so putting together a strong portfolio will show potential employers that you're driven and you have the relevant skills to get the job done. I recommend to include links to any digital marketing campaigns that you've worked on in the past, even if they were just school projects or volunteering projects. If you're a strong analytical thinker, you, I suggest you mention any research projects that you've undertaken. After all, analytical thinking skills are essential because the job your job as a digital marketer requires you to sort through, analyse and interpret important information. Let's move on to strategy number two, do your research. Before applying for digital marketing jobs, ensure you know what's expected of the role and what skills are required. Once you understand what employers are looking for, you can better tailor your application to their needs. Familiarise yourself with the organisation that you're applying to, their missions and their values and their target audience. Their company website and social media accounts are good places to start to look at for this information. I suggest you search the most visible employees of the company on LinkedIn and observe how involved they are in company events and in regards to sharing industry news. This tactic can lead to great insights into the company's office culture, their values and their goals. Show your engagement on LinkedIn by leaving thoughtful and engaging questions or comments on industry expert posts and consider sharing, forwarding or linking out to relevant articles to continue a discussion. Naturally, you should also understand the digital marketing landscape and be up to date on the latest trends and the latest news. Not just in digital marketing, but also in the food, tech, entertainment, health and education industry as well. For example, well-known blogs and sites that you can follow for the latest digital marketing news and trends include Adweek, Social Media Today and Search Engine Land. Here is strategy number three, boost your profile with certifications. If you want to make yourself more attractive to employers, I suggest you consider boosting your resume by participating in a digital marketing certification program. There are many different certifications available, so choose one that fits your needs, your interests and your budget. If you're applying for a job and have yet to complete your certification, Mention in your resume objectives and an online profile that you're in the process of getting certified. When potential clients or employers browse your LinkedIn profile or websites to learn about your skills and experience, seeing these certifications helps build more trust. Some digital marketing certifications to consider include the Google Ads certification, the Google Analytics certification, HubSpot inbound marketing certification, HootSuite social media management certification, SEMrush Digital Marketing Certification, the Facebook Blueprint and the YouTube Creator Academy. Let's now move on to strategy number four, expand your network. Growing your network both in the digital space and in real life is essential to success in digital marketing. While connecting on LinkedIn to digital marketing experts at the company that you're applying to is a great start. Expanding this tactic to other top professionals in the industry can lead to a broader network that you can reach out to later on. Additionally, I would suggest that you consider taking part in local network events advertised on Eventbrite and meetup.com 
to connect with other like-minded professionals or attend digital marketing events. On top of expanding your social network and exchanging ideas, you'll be able to make essential connections that could get you an interview or help you in your future job. Let me now give you five more top tips for networking at digital marketing events. Number one, dress for success. You should dress for the position that you want and always present yourself as someone who believes in personal well-being. I understand that different segments of the digital marketing field have unique dress code standards, but your first impression may be your last, so make it count. I recommend to find a balance and avoid the extremes. While I'm not suggesting squelching your personal style, but perhaps avoid wearing something like a tuxedo with flip-flops. Number two, make nice with the organizer. While you want to meet at many different people at any given event, it helps a great deal to get in good with the organizer of the event. Consider reaching out ahead of time or make a point to introduce yourself at the venue. Your proactive approach might lead to them giving you access to people that are critical to your needs and your skills. It's also fantastic to add industry leaders to your existing network. Number three, make a reasonable plan of attack. I don't recommend you go to a network event without a purpose. You certainly don't need to have everything timed down to the second, but also don't overextend yourself. There will be more events in the future, so don't feel the need to meet everyone at once. Rather, I suggest you prioritize who you might want to connect with and have a strategy or two that increases the possibility of paths crossing. Number four, listen and ask. Undoubtedly, you are at an event to expand your network and sell yourself. But this does not mean you should bounce around giving everyone your elevator pitch and throwing around business cards. Instead, I recommend you listen to what people say, interact and then, if it is suitable, you can steer the conversation in whatever direction you wish with a solid question or a statement. You want to be able to add people to your orbit and nothing scares away most people like someone who only pushes their personal agenda and never really listens. Number five, think on your feet. Life is a series of pivots. If you're not ready for them, you can easily be left behind. Learning how to think on your feet is an acquired skill and takes time to nurture. I suggest taking an improvement class offered at a local comedy club. It will teach you some unique skills that will come in handy at network events. On top of that, it's also a ton of fun. Let's move on to strategy number five, craft a bulletproof resume. When you're applying for a digital marketing job, it's important to put in the extra effort and customize your resume and cover letter to the position that you're interested in. If you don't have any professional digital marketing experience, you can still list relevant skills and accomplishments from other areas of your life. This could include achievements like blog posts that have got a lot of traffic and successful social media campaigns on Instagram or Facebook or other social networks or other digital marketing projects that you've done as volunteer work. You can also include relevant coursework, school projects or even internship work on your resume to showcase your digital marketing skills. If your interested role requires advanced video editing or content creation skills, consider making an elegant video re resume to pair with your formal application. Video resumes have been gaining popularity since the pandemic and are an excellent opportunity to showcase your skills, professionalism and personality all at once. Because the digital marketing field covers a diverse range of roles like social media, email marketer or content creator, different job postings will require you to emphasize other skills and qualifications. Now to ensure your application meets the requirements, I suggest you highlight your experience with digital marketing tools and platforms throughout your resume, such as Google Ads or Facebook. If you're a fresh graduate with no professional experience or if you're changing careers, Highlight essential transferable skills that you've acquired through other experiences like an internship, volunteering or personal project that can be applied to a new position. Let me give you some examples of transferable skills for digital marketing jobs. They include writing and editing skills, research skills, analytical skills, organisational skills, content creation, UX design, search engine optimization or SEO and data analysis. Additionally, when listing, when listing your experience on your resume, I recommend just to include complex numbers to quantify your achievements whenever possible. This will demonstrate the impact of your work and show potential employers what you're capable of in a measurable way. In 2024, writing a successful resume requires learning to include relevant skills 
qualifications and certifications that show you're the right person for the job and help you pass the applicant tracking system or the ATS. With over 75% of employers using ATS today to improve their business's hiring process, this is a trending job seeker that will need to navigate expertly. The more keywords in your resume and cover letter you apply for the job posting, the better your chances of success at meeting the candidate requirements set through the ATS. Let's now move on to strategy number six. Write a strong cover letter, even if it's optional. In addition to tailoring your resume to the digital marketing job that you're applying for, you should also write a strong cover letter. Not only are covers letters necessary in 2024, but about 83% of hiring managers claim that they read them. Your cover letter is the perfect chance to explain your motivation for wanting to join the company, describe your career objectives and elaborate on anything from your resume that stands out, such as an employment gap or a career change. Your digital marketing cover letter should be concise and to the point, but still personable and professional. I suggest you illustrate your relevant experiences and skills and focus on why you would be a good fit for the job and a good cultural match. If you're struggling with how to start your cover letter, I suggest you consider looking over some specific examples of industry specific cover letters for a bit of inspiration when writing your own. And just like building an ATS friendly resume, your cover letter should feature qualifications and the skills taken directly from the job listing, illustrated with concrete examples such as school, work or personal projects that you've undertaken to gain experience. I suggest you focus on simple wording and focus on explaining your skills and experience in plain English, which will make it much easier for the hiring manager to read and understand. I, have, I recommend you avoid using overly formal writing or stuffing your cover letter with trendy buzzwords like think outside the box or self-starter. It's alright to use digital marketing related jargon to demonstrate your industry knowledge. But if you're switching over from another industry, avoid using highly technical terms from your previous field to avoid confusing the hiring manager. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below the video and don't forget to tell me which strategy or method from this video you are going to use first. Or if you have any questions, drop them below and I will follow up with you. Are you looking for a way to create a second income online? Well, I've got something special for you. Click the link below to join our exclusive webinar on creating a second income online. This isn't just a video. It's your ticket to an income changing opportunity. Don't miss out. Make sure you check out that link and go through to my website and I'll see you at the webinar. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and please like the video. Just click the subscribe button below this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment under the video below and I will follow up with you. Thank you for watching.